Good morning, fifth grade. Today we're going to do the chapter eight, mid chapter checkpoint. Um, so tear out page 369 and 370 from your book. Um, make sure you have a sheet of graph paper as well. Um, I am going to be going over the problems on, um, on the screen and then I'll be doing all the problems on graph paper. All right. So um, number one, explain how you can tell without computing whether the quotient half divided by six is greater than one or less than one. And then in this case, we're just gonna write our answer in um, because we are dividing um, a piece into a less than one whole, like half into smaller pieces, we know it's gonna be less than. So we can write the quotient is less than one one whole since I'm dividing a fraction into more parts. All right, and you know on Think Central, this will probably be a drop-down um, response, but more or less that wording is correct. All right, the next problem, it says draw a number line and use fraction strips. We don't need to worry about doing a number line or fraction strips. We are going to go and just divide these through. Um, so on my graph paper, I'm just going to go through and do these problems. Three, oh, first we've got to put a heading on our graph paper. We're doing this on Friday. And because we're not doing our Think Central quiz, we're just going to put page 369 to 370, number two. All right, so we have three holes divided by a half. Oops. By a half. So the first thing we do is we put the whole number over one. And I like to make sure we write each expression. And then we multiply by the reciprocal of the divisor. Remember, the reciprocal is we just flip the fraction, so it's the inverse. So three over one, the problem becomes multiplication. We multiply across. And any number over one is a whole number. Number three, one divided by a quarter equals one over one, which equals one over one times the reciprocal of the divisor, which is four over one, which equals four over one, which equals four. Uh, a half divided by two. And now in this case, the two is the whole number is in the divisor. So we're going to do the same thing, a half divided by two over one, put the whole number over one, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of the divisor. And that's going to equal a quarter. A third divided by four. So we have a third divided by four over one. Then we multiply by the reciprocal of the divisor, so we flip the divisor. And a third times a quarter is a twelfth. Number six, we have two divided by a sixth. Put the whole number over one. We multiply by the reciprocal of the divisor. Now I know in some of the notes the other teachers use different vocab, call it like change o flip o, whatever that is. Um, I don't do any of that because I like to use a vocabulary because on tests they're going to ask you for the vocabulary, which means you would have to understand which one is reciprocal and the divisor. Um, so yeah, multiply it 12 over 1, which is 12. Number 7. 
is a quarter divided by three. So we put the whole number over one. Then we multiply by the reciprocal of the divisor and we get a 12. All right, the next problem is word problems. All right, so let's go through and read our word problems. All right, number eight. Two students share three granola bars equally. How many granola bars does each student get? All right, so for this problem, we have to remember how we set up our word problems. Um, my class knows that when we did this, I kind of had you review how do you write your word problems. So we have a dividend divided by a divisor. If you don't have this in your notes, it's always good to remind yourself. And the way this work, this works, this work, let's use the correct verb tense here. Um, the dividend is going to be a person has a number of items. The divisor is that this item and whatever the terms they use, shared, split, or cut into fraction pieces, Okay, so that's how we know how to set up our word problem. So in this case, number eight, two students share three granola bars. So what do I have? I have three granola bars and I'm gonna share them between two students. So the way our dividend. In this case, we could write this as a fraction. So my dividend, and actually I'm going to add this, I'm going to put this right here, here. This is our numerator and the divisor is always our denominator. That's from the last chapter. We know that. So in this problem, I can make the three granola bars, my numerator, my denominator is I'm splitting it. This is an improper fraction. I know that two goes into three one time, and three minus two is one, which is one half. So each student shares one and one half granola bars. Number nine, Um, and always remember to go to the simplest form. I'm just going to put number nine here. I'm going to fit everything on one page. Number nine. Um, five girls share four sandwiches equally. What is the fraction piece? Oh, they actually gave you the expression. <laughs> I did not see that. But it's good for you to know how to rewrite your problem because they may not always give you the expression. So uh, four divided by five. So we have... What do we have? We have four items, four sandwich items. We're splitting it up or sharing amongst five people. And so I write that as a fraction and I can't reduce that. So each person gets four fifth of the sandwich. That one's just really nice because it just splits up super evenly. Number 10. Nine boys share four pizzas equally. What fraction of a pizza does each boy get? So I have nine pizzas. I'm sorry, that's not right. I have four pizzas. Yeah, nine pizzas. That's a lot of pizza. Pizza, pizza. Um, four, <laughs> I crack myself up. Four pizzas divided by nine boys. It could have been four people. Girls like a lot of pizza too. Four divided by nine or four ninths. And I cannot reduce this because they don't share a factor. So actually each boy gets four ninths of the pizza. Number 11. Um, four friends share 10 fruit bars equally. So what do I have? I have 10 fruit bars 
and I'm sharing them amongst four friends. So I'm going to set this up as a fraction, 10 over 4, and I could reduce this because they're both even and they share the factor of 2. Oh, well, this is an improper fraction. Um, whatever, you're going to have to reduce it anyways. So um, this becomes 5 over 2. 2 goes into 5 two times, which is 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. So it's 2 and a half. So each friend shares 2 and a half bars. And if you just needed to see this actually done, 2 goes into 2 four times, which is 1, remainder 1, the numerator, I'm sorry, the whole number, the numerator, the denominator, right? It's a little blurry in the corner, isn't it? There we go. Um, even if you did 10 over 4 and you turn that into a mixed number right away, 4 goes into 10 two times. 10 minus 8 is 2, so you would get 2 and 2 fourths, and you would still have to reduce 2 fourths into a half. So you're going to have to reduce and divide by 2 regardless. So I just did it beforehand so I could have a more simplified um, improper fraction. Okie dokes, on to the back. Number 12. Ugh, coloring problems. All right, I'm just going to do the division for this problem first and then um, worry about the coloring after. So number 12, Mateo, hey Mateo, has eight liters of punch for a party. Each glass holds one fifth liter of punch. How many glasses will Mateo fill? Okay, well, I have eight liters of punch. So that's what I have, right? So if I look at my, how I set it up, right? What the number a person has and what they want to split it up or cut it into. So I have eight liters of punch and I want to split them into one fifth liters. I should actually put the conversion there. There's liters um, of punch. All right. Eight divided by one fifth. What I have divided by what I want to split it into. I first start putting the whole number over one. I then multiply by the reciprocal of the divisor. The divisor is the second number and my reciprocal is when I flip it. Multiply across. Any number over 1 is a whole number. So I get 40. What does 40 mean? You just don't put 40 on your paper, my friends. We have to answer that question. So I'm actually going to switch this paper. How many glasses can Mateo fill for each party? So And what we're going to color in, oh, we need to color in, I'm sorry. They just did eight split up by five to show that there are 40 pieces altogether, which I could have counted. Um, all right, number, and we write out our answer. Um, you could just say Mateo can fill 40 glasses, but I always like to show that their glasses are not full glasses, they're fractions. Um, Okie okay, dokes. Number 13, four friends share three sheets of construction paper equally. What fraction of a sheet of paper does each friend get? All right, so what do I have? I have three sheets of paper and I split it up amongst four people. All right, so my numerator my denominator, and I can't reduce that. So three fourths, how do I write that in? What fraction of a sheet of paper does each friend get? Well, in a complete sentence, each friend gets three quarters or three fourths Okay. 
Uh, 14. Caleb and two friends. Okay. Don't get tricked. She are sharing one quart, half a quart of milk equally. What fraction of a quart of milk does each of the three friends get? Oh, they told you that right there. So sometimes the problems will just say, does each friend get? And you have to assume that it was three people. So what do I have? I have I have half a quart of milk. I'm splitting it amongst three people. So I have a half divided by three over one. I multiply by the reciprocal of the divisor, which is one six. So each friend Each friend gets one six quart of milk. 15. Michaela has three yards of ribbons to use for a project. She cuts the ribbon into pieces that are a quarter yard long. How many pieces of ribbon does Michaela have? So, again, we start with what we have. Um, I have three yards, and I want to split them into one fourth yard long and that's going to tell me how many pieces I have. Um, so three over one divided by a quarter equals three over one times four over one which equals 12 over one which equals 12. What does 12 mean? Um, Michaela has twelve you can put one fourth yard long. I already know that one fourth is a quarter. Quarter yard long pieces. You could just put 12 pieces, but it's asking. Uh, well, it's not really. Okay. Um, boom. That was quick, huh? All right. So make sure you fill in your paper. You use your graph paper. So make sure you attach your graph paper to your workbook page. And I almost forgot my first rule name on your paper. First thing. Awesome. If you do not have a stapler at home, do not worry about that. It's called make a crease and put your papers together and you'll seal together in your folder. Please use this paper when you complete your Think Central quiz because all of the problems are exactly the same, except some of the numbers are different. All right, my friends, we'll see you later on.